Hi, my name is Kumar Abhishek and I am the group leader of the team developing the online food ordering system. Other members of the team are Gurjot Singh Suri, Aditya Savant and Faraz Rehman Malik. I will take you through the application. So, this is our home page. From here, customers can log in, sign up into the system and order food. Managers and admin can also log in to their respective UIs. Home page also shows the customer how the system works. Let's see. So, one can log in into the system using their username and password or sign up if this is their first time. One could select the restaurant from which they want to order and also choose their favorite dishes from the restaurant to place the order. Then they can pay for their order and track its progress to see its current status and hold tight until the order reaches them. This is the team which worked on this web application. Now let's go into the system and check it out. First, I will take you through administrator's perspective. Let's log in as the administrator. Here, you can see the list of the restaurants present in the system. Now, let's, let's expand on one and see. Here, it shows the managers of the chosen restaurant. Admin can remove the restaurant from the list or add or delete a manager. Let's add a manager. Let's fill in the details. So, see, the manager has been successfully added. Now, let us check if the manager got added. Here, you can see the manager which was just added. Admin can also add new restaurants to the system. Let's add one. Let's see the restaurant got added successfully. Here it shows the new restaurant added. This is it for the admin part. Now let's check out the manager's perspective. Let's log in as manager. You can see the menu of the restaurant. Manager has the ability to add or delete a menu item. Let's add a menu item to the menu of the restaurant. See, the menu item got added successfully and now it is present here. Manager also has a list of pending orders and a list of delivered orders. Pending orders contains orders which have been placed but are currently not delivered. Let's expand on one.
if the order has been delivered. Manager can mark the order as delivered and then the order goes to the list of delivered orders. Let's mark this order as delivered. As you can see, the order comes to the list of delivered orders. So, this was the manager. Let's check out the customer's perspective. As this is our first time, let's sign up. So we just got registered. Let's log in into the system using using the registered username and password. We got successfully logged in. We see the available restaurants to choose from. Let's choose this one. Now let's order something. The, by clicking on add to cart, the item gets added to our cart. Now let's add another one. Now Let's proceed to checkout. Here, this is our shopping cart and it consists of the items which we just added and the total price of our order. We can empty our cart by clicking on empty cart if we don't like what's in our cart. Or we could go back to the menu and add more items by clicking on continue shopping or we can confirm our order and move to payment by clicking on checkout. Let's proceed with the order by clicking on checkout. Now I have to add the address to which I want my food to be delivered. I can add a new address or choose from the address associated with my account. So, Let's choose this one and now let's place the order. Here we can see our order details along with the grand total. If we are not satisfied with our order, we can always go back to cart. Here the only thing left is payment. Let's pay online. Let's fill in the details and pay. Our order got placed successfully and here is the confirmation along with the order number. We can track this order or place another one. Let's track this order. Here we can see the order is present in pending orders and it will move to the list of previous orders once it is delivered. Now, this is after the order has been delivered. See, the order is present in the list of previous orders. Now, let's expand on it. After the order is delivered, the customer can review and read the order. Let's add a review to this order. Our review got added successfully.
a customer can also add extra addresses to their account. Let's add one. The address got added successfully. So this concludes the presentation of online food ordering system. I hope you enjoyed it.